With winter fast approaching, it's time to start making travel plans. For those looking to avoid the crowds and experience the winter season in new ways, travel expert Janine Tornator joins us with some ideas and destinations you'll want to add to your winter bucket list. Janine, let's start with where you are today. You say hot springs destinations are growing in popularity, especially during the winter season. Great to be here. I'm coming to you today from Glenwood Springs, Colorado. And, you know, I think when a lot of people think of Colorado, they think of the major world-renowned ski destinations like Aspen and Vail. There are so many other destinations in Colorado that offer really unique ways to experience the winter and these beautiful landscapes. Whether you add them on to one of your ski vacations or make a vacation of them on their own. And I'm coming to you from one of those places. This is the Glenwood Hot Springs Resort. This dates back to 1888. It's home to the world's largest hot springs pool. Here, they just added their new Yampa Mineral Pools last May, and they're adding a boutique hotel, Hotel 1888 here this coming spring. Also here in Glenwood Springs, you have the hot Iron Mountain Hot Springs. They have 16 geothermal pools, 10 riverside pools, cold plunges, and there are even vapor caves here locally where you can take in the therapeutic steam from these hot springs. And all of these are actually part of the Colorado Historic Hot Springs Loop, where around the state you can experience 23 of these different hot springs destinations. Now, if you're looking to get out and experience these beautiful mountain destinations, not on skis, there are some great things that you can do in the midst of these landscapes. One of my favorites, one of my family's favorites is snowmobiling. There are so many great guided excursions on snowmobiles that you can take all around the state. Here close to Glenwood Springs is Sunlight Mountain Resort where they have great guided family-friendly tours. Snowshoeing, cross-country skiing should also be on your list to get out in the mountains. There's really fun, unique experiences here and there are 20 Nordic centers around the state of Colorado. So plenty of places to do this sport. And you have some less crowded off the bean pass ski resort recommendations that can also save travelers some money this season. For those that are looking to get on skis and get on the mountain, but avoid some of the crowds and find a lot of great value, the key here is looking at these off the beaten path ski resorts. There's a lot of great smaller resorts throughout Colorado that offer so much value. A few of my favorites right here near Glenwood Springs, Sunlight Mountain Resort, they have a great ski swim and stay package. It's great value for families. Purgatory Ski Resort, which is in Durango, Colorado, in the southwest part of the state. They have a free season ski pass for kids 12 and under. Loveland Ski Area, right off of I-70 as you head up to some of those bigger resorts, has free snowcat skiing. And Howelson Hill, which is one of the oldest ski hills in Colorado near Steamboat, they have free skiing every Sunday during the season. Now, finally, I wanted to mention that you can go car free here in Colorado so easily. You know, they're all about sustainability here. And it's a really great stress-free value way to get up to some of these mountains. You can either take the Amtrak train, there's their um, snow staying bus, or there's really great shuttle options all right from Denver up to many of these ski destinations. Janine, where can we go for more information? Yeah, for all of these places I talked about today, definitely check out colorado.com. Their tourism website It's a great resource. And you can follow me on Instagram at The Outside Insider. Thanks for being here, Janine. My pleasure.